I'm Emily Winter, I'm a member of Dundee Rep Ensemble Company and I'm playing Cora. And I'm Nicholas Bone, I'm Artistic Director of Magnetic North and I'm directing Cora. The play is set on a housing estate um, which is actually Whitfield, although in the play it's referred to as Blackstream, Upper Blackstream. Um, but most folk will recognise it as Whitfield and um, it's set on, I think, one of the biggest housing estates in Europe at that time. Um, and basically, uh, the main character, my character Cora, uh, who lives there, she gets visited by a student who's doing a housing survey um, and through her chats with this student, uh, she gets together with other members of the community and they try to make some changes to the conditions on the housing estate because then they're not in a very good nick really, these houses, there's quite a lot of problems with them. Cora is a, a fan, an amazing character. Um, she has come from Swansea and she's lived uh, in this flat for 12 years and has five boys which she's raised in this uh, small two bedroom flat. Uh, the oldest boy is 11 and the youngest is still a baby about nine months old uh, and as she says early on in the play I've, uh, I live here without, none of the fathers live here with me, I prefer to live without a man. Um, but she's this wonderful kind of uh, open, warm person who just welcomes everyone into her house and is striving to make the best of, of everything and to bring her boys up in the best way she can. It was very interesting to meet Coralie, um, who the, the character of Cora in the play is based on. Um, she, it was, it was fun to meet her because actually quite a lot of the stories that are in the play are actually from facts, factual things that happened at that time um, and of obviously Tom's taken these ideas and, and then made a play out of them but it was lovely um, just to hear her chatting because we'd already been working on the play for three weeks I think by mm. the time we met her so we had got an idea of who all these characters were and then to meet <laughs> Coralie who is quite kind of slightly larger than life I would say and yeah. you know just this very warm uh, positive energy um, and she was also telling us about some of the other characters in the play who who were based on real people as well and telling us stories about them so it was, it was really interesting. Yeah it was fascinating just to get some more a, a sense of the, the background of the play and the characters and also to to understand the things in the play that Tom had created around this character and to, to understand that the Cora in the play is a character from Tom's imagination that draws a lot on uh, Coralie but but isn't Coralie herself. Uh, the play is being performed not on the stage at the Rep, but just over the back in the Bonner Hall. Um, and we've created a set that completely encloses the audience uh, who, who surround the performance area. So the audience are on four sides, very, very close to the actors, uh, almost as if they're sitting in, uh, in Cora's flat in the first part and uh, in, the, uh, in another place on the estate where the scenes in the second act take place. Uh, and we've tried to make it feel like the audience have all just, uh, have all brought their own chairs and are coming to sit and join in uh, and be part of the, be part of the performance in a way uh, because they're so close to the actors it really will feel as if they're in the room and being part of the part of the action, although they don't have to do anything, <laughs> so people don't need to worry about that. Uh, but they will be very, very close uh, to the actors. It'll be quite a, a unique yes. uh, experience. experience. For them and us. <laughs> I think the audience can expect to 
come and enjoy recognizing uh, some of the characters uh, and the place where they live and also that it's set 30 years ago back in the 1980s so there's a certain there's a certain nostalgia about it about that that time uh, but I think as well as that there's also a more kind of universal theme to the play about people striving to live in the best circumstances they can um, and to be able to bring up their families in a place that they feel proud to belong to yes um, and I think the the play works in both those ways it's about a very very particular place and it's also about something more universal about something that we all strive to do